Hi, this is Deb from businessbuildingshortcuts.com. And YouTube has been making some really fun changes lately. I want to show you one of them. Let's take a look at how to edit your video once it's already uploaded inside YouTube. And you can't make lots of fancy edits to it, but you are going to be able to trim things off the beginning and the end. If you're using live video in particular, you'll be able to use the rotate feature to move it 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. You can stabilize any shakiness in your live video and do some color fixes, adding color effects, and replacing your audio. Now, currently you can only replace audio with free tracks from YouTube's library, but we never know what's coming down the pike. So let's go inside our YouTube account and I'll show you how to find this and how to use it. Okay, here I am logged into our B Business Building Shortcuts or BB Shortcuts YouTube channel. And I've got it set up so that our videos are over here on the right that we've seen. And then this is the most recent one we did. Now to go into the editing that I want to show you, what you want to do is go up to your channel. See up in the upper right hand corner here? Click the drop down box and go here to videos. Click on videos under my account and then search for a video that you want. And I would chosen one, picking up where we left off. This was a video that we did um, with friends of ours, and it really probably shouldn't be on this channel, but it is anyway. So I'm gonna use that one so that I don't mess up one of our videos that actually is about business building shortcuts. You can see here that when you get to your videos, you can edit the information, meaning the title, description, tags, and such. This is the one I wanted to show you, where it says edit video, it says rotate, color correct, all that. So just click on edit video. And what's going to happen is YouTube will go out and it will bring in the video with a quick preview and it will start to play okay, it. Hey, here we are <laughs> at the beginning of our... Okay, so that's enough of that video. That's us and some friends of ours and Minder's voice in the background. On the left is my original and on the right is a quick preview of what the changes that I'm going to make would have on my video. And up here at the top, you can see, you can trim it. So if I had some stuff on the front of this video or the back end that I wanted to remove, dead airspace, if I click on trim, let me move this up a little bit so we can get it all into the screen. If I click, okay. it keeps playing all the time. Here. So see these little trim tabs here? And over here are different frames from my video. If I click on this and drag it, do you see how it grays it out and it kind of shows along on the top the videos? So if I went to right here, I would be removing all of this in the beginning and the video would start here. And then you can also do the same to the end. You can bring that in and in fact, it looks like I maybe should do that because there's some blank stuff at the end. But I'm just going to leave it be. So that's how you could trim the beginning and the end off of your video. So now that's one thing, but I'm not going to say done. I'm going to go back up here to revert to original, which is <laughs> going to be one of my favorites in this whole thing. So that's one of the quick fixes. Now we could go in here to effects. And what I could do is to go up and look at applying these different impacts. I could make this look like an old photo. I could do cross processing. I don't even know what all these things mean. But you can see that there are lots of different video options that you could do. So let's just see what one looks like. I'm going to change it to sepia. So I'm going to click apply and it's going to go out. So do you see now how on this side it's got us <laughs> on the left hand side and on the right hand side it's got the old photo look. So it's just that easy to change those. The audio lets you replace the background of your video or soundtrack uh, with library tracks that YouTube has purchased and makes them here for you free. What this is going to do though is it's going to remove the audio track that's already behind your video and it's going to replace it with the audio here. So it's songs. I'm hoping that one day they might allow us to upload our own new audio and replace out 
uh, the narration on a video. But for right now, this would be more relevant if you're putting slides or pictures over a musical background. This would let you swap that out. So these are just some of the fixes that you can do. Now there's one more I wanted to show you. I went back over here to Quick Fixes. You can trim, but you can also rotate to the left. See how it stood it up? Which is helpful if you end up in the position of having, to, having done your sh photo shoot um, sideways. Put it back. And you can also stabilize. So if you had a shaky video, this could help to stabilize that. Over here, you can change the lighting. So full light, you can look at the contrast, make it more or less, the color saturation, or the color temperature. So all these are things that you can do to a video once you already have it uploaded to YouTube. So that's a really cool little enhancement that they just added. So I would recommend that what you do is go in and start playing around with edit in your videos and see what kind of amazing effects you can do with videos that you have already created.